I bet you thought the insanity was over. But nope, it's back like a bad penny, like Gremlins 2, like that great-grandmother you have that smells kind of like pee. That's right, it's present and future value, and today we will be discussing the beautiful lyrics and timely ballads of Mr. Frenchy Poo. So people, here's what's going on. Mr. Frenchy Poo, he sings the beautiful songs, and people chuck money at him because the songs, they are so good, and he is uh, so sexy. And he can invest this money continuously at 4% interest. How much does he have in eight years if he gets one big fat sum of $8,000? Now dudes, this is nothing new. This is something you should be able to answer already. Just in case you don't remember, let's remind ourselves this. The value after this has been invested for T years is this formula, P0E to the RT. Now, dudes, remember, that's because specifically it says um, he invests this money continuously. Whenever you see the word continuous, you use the PERT equation. And so that means, dudes, that if we're getting a single sum of $8,000, then the answer is going to be $8,000 times E to the 0 0.04, because that's our interest rate. And this is going to be invested for eight years, so 0 0.04 times eight. And then, dudes, you would just calculate this puppy, and you would get something like um, $11,017. There, that's pretty cool. Um, all right, so uh, yeah, you get something like that, and dudes, that's all review. You're probably familiar with that. Just as another point of review, let's make sure we understand 1.5, which says this. What if, seven years from now, someone hands him $5,000? What is the present value? So dudes, remember, present value is just a fancy name for um, uh, now, as in how much it's worth currently. And so the way you should think about this is that if someone hands Mr. Frenchy Poo $5,000 in seven years, then what you're going to do is you're going to start seven years in the future, and then you're going to bring that money backwards in time seven years. So here's going to be your answer. You're going to start with $5,000, and then we're going to use the e to the 0 0.04, but now the number that you use for your time is negative 7, because you start when he gets the money, which is 7 years from now, and then you have to bring that money backwards in time 7 years to get to the present. So that number, when you plug into the calculator, will be whatever your answer is. So dudes, that's just a reminder of how we did interest and present value and future value back in the day. Now here's the stuff we're learning in this new section, and here's the thing that's different. What if, instead of getting a single chunk of change from his admirers, he gets a continuous income stream? So this is just a fancy way of saying the following. What if, instead of someone giving Mr. Frenchy Poo a big hunk of money, they break up this money into payments? And we're not talking about yearly payments, we're not talking about monthly payments, or even daily payments. We're talking about payments like every instant, like maybe every you know, one hundredth of a second to give him a piece of a penny. And so they give him money at a really fast rate, and maybe every instant they only give him a tiny little piece of money, but because they're giving him money so frequently, it just builds up and builds up and builds up, and after a few years, he's got thousands and thousands of dollars. That's the idea of a continuous income stream. Now, you don't have to have that firmly embedded in your meat brains, but what you do need to know is that when you see a reference to an income stream, that's going to be a different type of problem. It's not a problem where you have a single investment. It's a problem where your investing happens all the time. At every single instant, you are investing new money. And it turns out there's a nice handy-dandy formula for that, and it looks like this. It's an integral. Surprise! I bet you couldn't have seen that coming. So dudes, if you are ever given a problem that talks about a continuous income stream, you're going to be using this formula and also the one right beneath it. So for continuous income stream, there is this formula for present value. Now here's what all these crazy symbols mean. The E is your usual same old E. This R, as always, is the interest rate. Um, in this case, T is a variable that's going to stay T. And that's because, dudes, you're going to be plugging all of this into an integral. And so when you plug stuff into an integral in your calculator, you just leave your T as, you know, T. Uh, you don't actually plug in a number for that. So the only thing you've got to be able to plug in for are these two new things. Well, R, of course, you have to plug in for R. But you also have to plug in for S of T, and you have to plug in for this M thing. And here's what they mean. I'm going to scroll down here, and we're going to talk about that. S of T is your income stream per unit time. So, for example, if you scroll back up here and see what's going on, problem number two says Mr. Frenchy Poo gets a continuous income stream of $1,000 per year. 
that means that in this case your s of t is just a thousand because it is your income stream per unit time for this problem it's income stream per year and it's a thousand dollars per year so s of t equals a thousand so let's note this number two s of t equals stream not steam stream per year uh, stream per unit time and that is equal to a thousand dollars per year and so we're just going to write s of t equals a thousand and that's pretty cool all right let's scroll up and see what these other things are r is interest rate of course so we're going to just going to use r equals 0 0.04 and then dudes m is the total time that your money is invested so for this problem uh what does it even say um let's go back up to number two Oh, it's the exact same thing as before, blah, 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 where how much money does he have in eight years? So we're going to be investing that money and letting it sit in the bank for eight years. Let's go back down here. Let's let it sit in the bank for eight years. Um, oh, right. And dudes, M is exactly how long we've invested it for. So all that's saying for this crazy ass problem is that M equals eight. Bam. Okay. So we got these three suckers and now we can just plug those in. And let's remember what the formula is we're plugging those into. The formula with the integral is a formula for present value only. When you're trying to figure out future value, dudes, you have to figure out present value first and then multiply that by e to the rm. So this is easy. We'll just do it step at a time. And here's the way you want to think about the problem. Uh, let's remind ourselves one more time that what we're doing here is figuring out how much money Mr. French Pooh has eight, eight years from now. This is definitely a future value because we're looking at eight years in the future. So that means that because we're doing this new type of problem, what we have to do is first find the present value. And then once you know the present value, all we have to do is multiply the present value by that E term right there. And that gives us the future value. So let's do this sucker. Present value equals, um, wait, eh, eh, present value equals. All right, here's our present value. It's going to be the integral from zero to M. So that's integral from zero to eight. We're going to have our S of T there, so that's going to be 1,000. We're going to multiply by E to the minus 0 0.04. T still stays the T, and we got us a DT. All right, dudes, this would be the integral, and then once you have that written down by hand, you can plug that crap into the calculator, and you just get, um, I don't even know. Let me think about it. I bet it's something like 6,846 point, I don't know. Two seven. All right, that sounds pretty good. And so that's gonna be your present value, dudes. And that means that uh, basically, 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 here's what that means, dudes. So before, if you would look at the present value and you'd say something like, oh, the present value is just $1,000 because that's how much is being invested. You gotta remember that that's not true. What happens to Mr. Frenchy Poo is that he's getting $1,000 per year, broken up into tiny little bits, but he's also getting that money for the period of eight years. So as he gets little bits of money now, they start accumulating interest, but there are other little bits of money that he doesn't get until way down the road. So basically, the worth of all of this crazy income investing scheme is a little under $7,000 right now. Getting $1,000 per year broken up into an income stream for eight years is worth about $6,800 right now. That's cool, I guess. All right, but we don't care about the present value. The question was actually, what the crap is the future value? And the future value is just present value times e to the r m. So our answer for future value is 6,846.27 um, times e to the 0 0.04 times 8. And if you calculated that puppy up, you should get something like um, 9,000 four hundred and twenty eight dollar and nineteen cents all right dudes that's your answer so one more time the ideas are pretty simple if you're asked for present value or future value involving an income stream income stream income stream if the problem involves an income stream you're going to use these new formulas for present value and future value if you need to find future value first you have to find present value and then you just multiply it by that term right there and dudes, be careful to only use these formulas when the problem says income stream. If this is something that says you get a single chunk of money, then you're going to use the present value and future value formulas from way back in chapter one, and you don't have to mess around with this new stuff. All right, dudes, that's it for this one.